Dear participants of the Asia Oceania Geo Symposium, greetings from the Geo Secretariat in Geneva, Switzerland. I think I speak for everyone when I say that as people, we all love a good tradition, especially one that gathers and unites us. AO Geo Symposium must be one such tradition. This is the 14th year that you're all gathering, united by a shared vision and a shared need to accelerate our delivery of evidence, science-based evidence, to inform public policy and other kinds of decision-making in the private sector and the civil society. This year, the symposium is taking place at the same time as the world's largest gathering on climate action, COP26, is taking place in Glasgow, Scotland. Some of our GEO members and partners are also there, as is the team from the GEO Secretariat. And in case you've missed this, just over the weekend, UNFCCC's uh, subsidiary body on scientific and technical advice, SUBSTA, just passed its conclusion at the end of the plenary. And this conclusion recognizes, among other things, the importance of partnerships for Earth observations and specifically recognizes contribution of GEO in the important work of developing knowledge products indicators, applications, and services in support of least developed countries, high mountain areas, small island developing states. It also calls out a few areas of specific need that our community provides support to and makes great contributions to, like continuing to monitor change in climate, atmosphere, cryosphere, and ocean on land, furthering contributions from youth, local and traditional knowledge and weaving those into decision making. You can recognize the strong connections between those areas of need highlighted by SUBSTA and the work of GEO. Many of these um, areas of need are focus areas in the activities that are being led by subject matter experts from Asia Oceania. So in a way, the call by SUBSTA could be seen as a call to AO GEO to accelerate the pace and the action in the work that you've undertaken. Unlocking big earth data through consistent application of open data policies, accelerating analysis ready data, developing open methodologies, services and tools, and integrating traditional and local knowledge and making these available through broadened access to technology. These are all key aspects of our work that we must continue to be committed to and continue with result. This year in GEO, through the work of the GEO work program and the development of the next GEO work program, we're drawing attention to the need for us to develop integrative approaches to developing decision support. This is important because the problems that our governments are solving are in fact integrated and interconnected. Developing tools that can provide evidence and decision support to impact policy in key nexus areas such as ocean and climate, food, biosphere and water, human, animal and environmental health. These will require integration of scientific communities and integrative research. This is an opportunity for our work program to take stock of all of the activities to date and mature in order to really bring the power of Earth observations to bear on policy making at the speed of change and even better, staying ahead of the change. All of these topics will be prominently featured up for showcase and deliberations at Geo Week 2021, where I hope all of you have already registered to attend. During this GEO week, we're especially looking to GEO principles and GEO leadership to take active involvement and participation. We're looking to you to partner with you to help us facilitate and strengthen engagement at the national level with other ministries, with statistical agencies, with ministries of agriculture, water, human health, public health, finance, foreign affairs, all of these parties are key stakeholders, engagement with whom is important if we are to deliver evidence to policy and if we want to actually impact action. 
So I very much look forward to you having a good discussion, productive symposium, and then joining us again in just two weeks at the GeoWeek. Take good care.